One of the problems with running a system with a sump is the risk of pump failure and the sump tank overflowing. Another issue with this design is that multiple beds could be draining at the same time, which possibly could fill the sump tank faster than the sump pump can operate. As a safety, I installed a second pump and drain line between the sump tank and the fish tank. All of my pumps have been replaced by these live well pumps, which are far more reliable than the bilge pumps that I was using. I also installed the solid state float switches on each pump, which will help to reduce the chance of a mechanical switch failure. Each pump has a pipe with a T-fitting attached to the bottom, so that the pump can be supported on the bottom of the tank. The second pump is set at a higher elevation. This will allow for the primary pump to do all the work, and reserve the second pump for the heavier flood rate, or if the primary pump fails. At some point, I will also install an alarm switch in the event a complete failure occurs, which will turn off the pump that is supplying water into the grow beds. Now that there is a potential of increased water flow into the fish tank, there is also a risk of overburdening the original line that is siphoning the water from this tank into the buffering tank. To prevent the tank from overflowing, I installed a second line that is used as an emergency overflow. To install the line without disturbing the fish too much, I drained some of the water from the fish tank, drilled a hole for a 2 inch bulkhead fitting, cleaned up the area a bit, and installed the bulkhead fitting. The overflow pipe is a 2 inch elbow that I cut a bunch of slots to act as a filter, and this drains down into the buffer tank. To test the overflow, I just plugged the main drain line and set it to pump water into the tank full blast. Once the water level gets up to the slots, it starts to drain through the overflow. The slots catch any of the food or weeds from going down the drain. If the water level continues to rise, it will eventually go over the lip of the overflow and everything will flush down. Since filming all the original footage, I also added a baffle around the overflow. This helps to minimize any debris from getting caught in the overflow filter. That's about it. We'll see you next time.